A state senator from Newport, Richie, landed in some hot water over his opposition to privatizing Florida prisons. Private companies were on the verge of getting a multi-billion dollar contract to operate more than two dozen prisons. But as Mike Vasilinda tells us tonight, a very vocal opponent seems to have temporarily stopped the plan. Florida taxpayers spent $42 million to build a prison in Hardy County, another $34 million in Indian Town, and $46 million for a prison in Okeechobee that taxpayers are still paying on. All total, a prison privatization plan would turn a half billion dollars worth of prisons over to private companies. Opposition to the plan cost State Senator Mike Fasano his leadership positions. The private companies have, have no skin in the game. They're putting no investment, yet we're going to write them out a check every month to run a prison that's paid for by the taxpayers. Something's wrong with that scenario. It's Ben Nichols. It is. Democrat Eleanor Sobel calls the controversy unfortunate, but with Fasano ousted from a chairmanship, the ensuing shuffle put State Senator Jim Norman, once considered a privatization opponent, in leadership and no way and i made it very clear and no way would my vote or my position be compromised by any appointments but norman says he's now leaning towards privatization once votes started disappearing for the privatization bill governor rick scott got involved calling senators into his office one of them is former sheriff and current state senator charlie dean and i just don't want to farm out jailing people for profit well, the privatization debate has been hot all week. Look for it to go dark as supporters work behind the scenes to try and breathe new life into the plan. In Tallahassee, Mike Massalinda, News Channel 8.